so question first um selena fill uh, mechanism of action it acts through an no and cyclic gmp and um, it is also a selective inhibitor of pd5 inhibitor phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors it is selective and it acts to cyclic gmp this was asked so this is the right answer now difference in the side effects of carbamazepine and oxycarbazepine uh, this is hyponatremia this was asked other options i can't recall but and this is the answer now patient with history of hodgkin's lymphoma and uh, uh, with constitutional symptoms present with constitutional symptoms and uh, read stomach cells were present so uh, cd markers uh, this is, was a, a multiple uh, option answer so cd 15 and cd 30 both is the correct answer now senile atrophy is due to this is very easy question due to increasing age uh, senile atrophy is seen the other options were denervation and workload and a decrease in the use but increase age is the most correct answer now maple syrup uh, urine disease this is uh, again very much repeatedly asked and so it is due to decreased activity of bckd in branch chain alpha keto acid dehydrogenase complex so this is the answer now mdso for toxicity what is the first sign it is loss of the knee jerk this is also one liner so easy questions now uh, this image was asked this needle was asked so this is kilmar's needle and uh, it is used for bone marrow aspiration because no side screw is there so it is kilmar needle now cerebral perfusion pressure and was asked what is the correct formula so mean arterial pressure minus icp intracranial pressure it uh, cerebral perfusion pressure it is very good question easy now use of hand sanitizers when to use so when you have visible soiling on the hands you should use uh, hand sanitizer now there is a patient with mass in uh, epigastrium with the cd 117 is positive as 100 is uh, and cytokeratin is negative so what will be your diagnosis so mass and epigastrium in the stomach you can uh, say they are nearby the stomach and so gist is the answer and cd 117 is present in gist just now which of the following not used to diagnose breast carcinoma this question applies like uh, triple assessment for breast carcinoma so pet ct is not involved in this triple assessment rest radiology you can mammography and ultrasounds are involved clinical examination uh, by palpating the lump if there is some and biopsy is a true cut biopsy is these are the triple assessment from breast carcinoma now which is not a criteria for sirs so this is a very easy question so temperature is included pulse rate respiratory rate these are included and bp is not included in this in the sirs criteria even temperature respiratory rate pulse rate and wbc count which is included so it should if it is less than 3 or greater than 12 this is the criteria for sirs uh, which is what is true about neurogenic shock so they have said about other options were hypertension and uh, tachycardia and vice versa so the answer is hypotension and bradycardia not hypertension and tachycardia this happens in neurogenic shock now this was the histopathological image and uh, in which you can see clearly see this structures these are the keratin pulse and uh, also p40 is positive so this is so significant for the diagnosis to you the answer is squamous cell carcinoma of lung in which p40 is positive with the you can see on the histopathological image 
keratin pulse are positive now history of stab injury over the thorax so with the pneumothorax followed by the road traffic accident or uh, stab injury so what is the ne next best step so next step is to place some intercostal tube uh, icd intercostal drainage should be done now gas under diaphragm for patient with peptic ulcer disease what would you do so uh, there are multiple options are there so iv fluid yes we have to resuscitate the patient we can't wait for ccct uh, if the patient is stable we also and uh, laparotomy will be the option so one and three uh, will be the answer we will not wait for upper gi endoscopy and ccct because if it is gas under diaphragm the patient is already unstable and if we delay we can lose the patient now benefits of laparoscopic surgery again multiple options uh, questions so better cosmosis yes less pain is yes and uh, long time to discharge this is no early discharge is, uh, you can see in this laparoscopic surgery and early ambulation is present in laparoscopic surgery so this is better than open now case of 19 year old girl with swelling uh, since six months moves with deglutition and uh, invades anterior strap muscle or it invades the sternocleidomastoid so what should be the diagnosis so and this histopathological image was given so options of follicular adenoma ptc papillary thyroid carcinoma medullary carcinoma and thyroglossal cyst so uh, moved with the deglutination so it can be suspected of thyroglossal cyst but it does not invade then strap muscle so answer is papillary thyroid carcinoma and with confirmed with this histopathological image this is so peculiar for papillary thyroid carcinoma now most common moderate to severe cause of blindness in india so glaucoma is the most common severe uh, moderate to severe cause of blindness in india now you can see this condition was given so what it is called and the, both the eyelids are attached and chyloblephron now this image was asked in this uh, hyperpion we can see due to hypemia this was asked so it's an easy image you can see hyperpion now common sequel of covid uh, most common is the follicular conjunctivitis seen in this and this is a repeat question from uh, neat pg 2022 now small discrete university of Pennsylvania smell identified test uh, what test is used and uh, sniff sniffing stick test is used for this now you can see the tonsils yellow exudates on the tonsils with multiple options were given so you can see these yellow uh, exudates on these tonsils so abca1 gene defect in this it is seen and uh, in tangier's disease it is seen now test to combine with oae when oae are absent in the patient so in tympanometry along with bera bara we should combine this both test if oae is absent we not combine this pure tone audiometry now this diagram was given in which uh, they have asked about the uh, several steps they have not given the drugs but they have seen in which of the step and where it will uh, the drug will act or gravel they have antiretroviral drug and the integrase inhibitor so they were inhibiting this step during the they have given this image and they are inhibiting this part so that the answer was relatively grave now sedative of choice in uh, the patient uh, liver profile is deranged to so, midazolam diazepam and oxypam so oxypam is the answer for uh, deranged liver profile now prophylactic dose of lithium in acute mania so it is 0 0.5, 0 0.6 to 1.5 is the prophylactic dose. Now Refsum's disease 
it is uh, due to defect in the alpha oxidation in the peroxisomes so lack of enzyme that break the phytanic acid so stains matching the leprosy fine farco white farco so congo red and uh, it matches with the amyloids the molecular layer of the cerebellum is formed by the stellate cells and the basket cells and single large row cells of the Purkinje cells these form the molecular layer of the cerebellum now water uh, absorption from PCT in the absence of ADH is uh, due to isotonic the solution is isotonic not hypotonic it is in the DCT now anion gap is seen in metabolic acidosis in urinary anion gap we can see and the image showing gautron's papules it is seen in dermatomyositis the which one is vesicular so hand foot mouth disease raziola dengue zika so hand foot mouth disease is vesicular now this image you can see image of a coffee bean sign and what which is the type of obstruction seen in this so a large bowel obstruction is seen and this is a sigmoid volvulus coffee bean sign you can see in this x-ray was given now, hemi bellismus is caused by the lesion in putum and globus pallidus and subthalamic nucleus so it is in the subthalamic nucleus and repeat question from neat pg 2022 so uh, this diagram was given the proximal end of fibula and most common nerve injured is uh, common peroneal nerve because it passes from here just winding the fibula head and correct order for hypostadiasis so first of all deglobing is done by y shaped incision and giving the y shaped incision and uh, after that urethroplasty is done after that meatel advancement and uh, granuloplasty glenuloplasty is done now patient diabetic patient with coral pink fluorescence on wood lamp examination so this the diagram was given under axilla this was given so cornibacterium minotissium this is now history of uh, multiple macular lesions are present and this uh, histopathological diagram is given this is so significant for molluscum contagiosum now a local anesthesia given just below the inguinal ligament for uh, placing the femoral catheter See, if you are doing uh, hernioplasty, then it will be the genitofemoral nerve. But uh, for placing the femoral catheter, uh, the answer will be femoral nerve. Now, this black scar on the back due to which of the following? So, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever and Scrub Typhus, COVID-19 Malaria. So, Scrub Typhus is the answer, not COVID-19 or Malaria. So which interleukin is not involved in hypersensitivity of one reaction is it interleukin 4 is the answer now this uh, diagram was given in which to hp virus causing the oncogenesis so e6 and e7 plays a major role in these and uh, not l1 l2 s1 s2 and even e2 3 4 5 these are not they don't play a role in oncogenesis repeat question from july 2021 now class switching over the IgM and IgD so heavy chain these IgM and IgD heavy chain remains the constant so which property this is the differential property and uh, not the somatic hypermutation or affinity maturation now which virus causes the antigenic shift so in this diagrams was given for every virus or Ebola virus also for influenza virus also but the answer is influenza virus it is caused for the antigenic shift now absent graft versus host reaction after transfusion is due to deficiency of decreased MH, mhc1 cells now identifying the stain these are for the no cardian zn staining is there it is simple and patient with hiv positive afb stained x and uh, uh, it immunosuppressive patient with see you can see this is very peculiar very much asked before also so cryptosporidium is the answer for this patient now infection by the traumatic inoculation which spread along the lymphatics which of the following does not cause this so you, this is the picture given 
and in the sporotroic lesions are given so not seen in staph aureus it is caused by sporothrix nocardia these are the causative organisms this can cause these kind of lesions but are not uh, staphylus aureus so stay tuned um, uh, more questions are coming and uh, please support